Nine steals and 12 tries. The man who leads the team has the night off, and he is off on the pitch. The throw down from Jake Washer. The tag from Delvin's in, applied in time. What a sweeping, fast tag from the Cubs shortstop, and they snipe Hellman trying to steal second. Got him right where he wants him, 0-2. Another slider waved at and missed. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Bokey three strikeouts in the inning. Plenty of time to waste the pitch, and Camargo re reaching for that and bloops it into right field a couple steps ahead of the charging American, and Kersey is going to score easily. So it is a no-out single and an RBI for Jair Camargo. The 0-2 pitch, wave and a whiff, strike three. That fastball missing just below the knees, but that one did not. Certainly what South Bend needs, trailing by one run, and that one is hit high in the air into the gap, going back towards the wall, it's out of here. DJ Artis lofted a fly ball that just kept on carrying into left center field, and it turns into a three-run shot and a South Bend Cubs lead. Next pitch on the way, this one's rocketed out deep to center field. Nelson Velasquez on the run, gets turned around and he can't get there. That one's gonna get all the way to the wall. That'll score a run as flying around third is Jair Camargo. The throw comes in, it's late, and it's now just a one run lead, 3-2. Corner infielders playing in, middle infielders back. Breaking ball on the ground, out to second. Reynolds has it, runner trying to score. The throw will go to first, which means Hellman trots in, touches the plate. And we are now tying up brand new ball game. It's 3-3. Here three. It comes the next pitch. Waved at and missed. Got him with the breaking ball. He chased it low and away. Their strikeout number 12 for Cubs pitching. He's off on the first pitch. Now we're during a grounds one over to third. Couple of hops. The third baseman. The only play is the first as Delvin's in, slides in safely. An RBI from Tyler Derna. And the Cubs are back in front. It's 4-3. Vasquez commands at the plate. One of the best hitters in the league this season. Hitters count for him, ground ball. Fair down the third baseline. This one's going to rattle around. It's going to hop into the Budweiser Picnic Garden. An RBI double for Nelson Velasquez. Artis touches the plate. There's Velasquez, his first hit of the series, and he doubles up the lead. It's 5-3. Runner will be off on the pitch. The payoff pitch on the way. This one's launched deep out to right field. American back at the track at the wall, and this ball is out of here. Julian is third home run with the Colonels, and it comes with them down to their final strike in the ninth inning. Both runners in scoring position for the Colonels. Alberto fires, strike three looking. Max Smith watched the fastball go by, and it's strikeout number three for Alberto and 19 for the South Bend Cubs staff. We to follow up his three strikeout tenth if Reynolds fails here. And that one is hit high in the air to shallow center field. Oncoming charging is Kiersey. He won't get there. Good night from South Bend. Ryan Reynolds walk it off for the third straight day. The South Bend Cubs win. Fantastic Friday fireworks indeed. Three straight wins for South Bend. Three straight in the 10th inning. And another walk off for the Cubs. A blooper into shallow center field right in between the shortstop and the diving center fielder and Kersey, Kersey wasn't even close. And that is how it's decided in South Bend. Celebrations on second, on second base, an empty Gatorade cooler, and the W flag flying for the South Bend Cubs. So first off, I, I love the effort from Kersey Jr. laying out, because you got you to give yourself a chance, even though he's about 10 feet away maybe from catching that baseball. But Ryan Reynolds, the walk-off single, we're about 50 minutes away from the man's birthday. So what a better.